Detroit police community mourning after officers shoot and kill one of their own who opened fire on officers during a mental health crisis. This all unfolded Monday afternoon in the area of East Davison and St. Aubin near the Highland Park water tower. Police tell us the officers were responding to a 911 call from the off duty officer when he started shooting and he injured two officers. The officers shot back, killing him. And Priya Mann joins us now live this morning and Priya, this is putting a spotlight on the mental health of our officers. And the toll that it takes on the front lines. Good morning, Rhonda and Jason. Those two officers you mentioned were both shot. They're here at Detroit Receiving Hospital, both expected to make a full recovery. Chief James White says this was a heartbreaking situation, that the off-duty officer who called 911 was having suicidal thoughts, wanted suicide by cop. Those two hero officers who got to the scene were met with a fellow officer in full uniform and a high-powered rifle. My prayers go out to anybody that lies anything. Monday's 911 call from a man in distress was close to home for DPD. Tragically, uh, we are not immune to mental crisis. We're, we're just like everyone else. The caller, a 45-year-old highly trained special response team officer with 13 years on the force, was in crisis. Two responding officers from the 11th precinct arrived to help and were met with gunfire. He uh, is shooting in the air. The officers uh, check the area, but when they hear the gunshots, they retreat and take cover uh, because they recognize that he has a high-powered rifle. The officer, who was off-duty at the time, walked up to the vehicle they had taken cover behind, shooting it and the officers. One cop was hit in the leg, the other shot in the thigh before one of them returned fire, killing a fellow officer. Chief James White says he hopes that the stigma around mental health subsides, especially for those on the front lines. The chief says the officer, who has not yet been identified, had no previous mental health issues, but was dealing with a physical degenerative condition and had recently returned to full duty. It's a tragedy for the city, uh, but it's just a reminder that every Detroiter should just be enormously grateful uh, for the commitment of the service to the men and women of this department. And those two hero officers who really had to make one of the most difficult calls of their career remain here at Detroit Receiving Hospital, both expected to make a full recovery. If you are struggling with suicidal thoughts, help is available. We have information up on clickondetroit.com. Reporting live this morning, I'm Priya Mann. I'll send it back to you. All right, Priya, and we'll give you that number right now. As a matter of fact, the suicide and crisis line, you can call or text 988. Help is available 24 hours a day. All you have to do is call or text.